Hey guys, Scott here in the Eastwood Garage with a solution for clean compressed air. No matter what air tool you plan on running, having clean dry air will benefit the tool. In our garage today, we have our Eastwood Air CFS, which stands for Complete Filtration System. This filtration system is a perfect add into any garage in which you're just beginning to set up the compressed air or an existing system in which you wish to protect the tools to be run. Without properly cleaned air, Moisture can wreak havoc on the internal moving parts of any air tool, leaving them vulnerable to rust. Once the rust begins to set in on the moving parts of an air tool, it'll begin to slow down and not give the performance it once did. Easily plumb into a compressed air system with a half inch MPT inlet fitting and an airline ready quarter inch MPT fitting on the outlet. A long life one micron coalescing filter will remove most moisture and impurities from passing air. The built-in pressure regulator allows for custom pressures ranging from zero all the way up to 150 PSI. No matter if you plan on running a low pressure tool such as a paint gun or a higher demanding tool such as a grinder, this regulator will get you set to the correct pressure. I usually run the pressure on the regulator a little bit higher than the demand of the tool being used to accommodate for slight pressure loss through longer air hoses. As an example, if I were to be running a 30 PSI paint gun, I personally would set the air regulator on this filter to about 50 to 60 PSI to ensure the perfect 30 PSI at the regulator I have on my paint gun. Speaking of paint gun, this filter can also be converted to a desiccant filter. Why is this important when you paint, you may ask? Moisture is the number one enemy of any paint or powder coating job. A desiccant filter allows for the trapping of the maximum amount of moisture from the compressed air system. We offer the optional desiccant kit, which is easily retrofitted and adds the drying capability to this kit. After releasing all the pressure from the filter and all the air lines, you may begin to disassemble the filter to easily install the desiccant kit. First up is to drop the canister from the housing. At this point, we recommend drying any residual moisture inside the bowl. Now we'll remove the wing nut and pop these pieces off, which will be saved for later usage. The new parts are now ready to be installed to hold the desiccant securely in place. We recommend saving all the old parts for a later time since generally we only want to use a desiccant during painting or powder coating jobs. You'll be able to switch back and forth as needed to allow the desiccant to last as long as possible. I personally put mine back into a Ziploc bag when not in use along with some small desiccant packs which usually you get from items such as a bag of beef jerky. With a feel for how and why having a filtration system is important in your shop, let's cover how extremely easy mounting is. If you look at the top of our unit, you'll see we have incorporated the mount directly onto it. Now there are no confusing brackets to align or force you to hold two parts at the same time while trying to attempt to screw them together. Simply mark the hole locations on your wall and use the correct hardware to attach. Next time you're looking to upgrade or to install a brand new filtration system, look no further than the Eastwood Complete Filtration System to fill that gap. For more information on this filter or to be able to purchase, you can click or tap the button in the corner or follow the link that appears on screen.